Welcome to your keyword research tutorial for YouTube. Now I know what you're thinking, ugh, YouTube SEO? What the heck is that? How do I do it? Why do I have to do it in the first place? And how do I get my videos to actually rank in search? Well, my friend, you are in the right place because we're gonna make this fun and easy, so stick around. I'm Amanda Horvath and I help freedom seekers use video to build a personal brand and scalable online course business without overwhelm or wasted time. So if you're looking to step off the hamster wheel of trading time for money, then be sure to subscribe and at any point while watching my videos, you can head on down to the link in the description below for my quick start guide to get you up and running on your video journey. Now, before I take you on the computer and show you how to do keyword research, I want to first talk about when to do keyword research because there's some controversy around this topic. So if you are a business owner that is doing this to drive leads to your business, or you are just looking to make your life easier in general, all of the videos that you are going to create are not always going to be videos that people are searching for. So let's say you have an audience and you know that you're getting this question all the time on repeat and that if you could create a video on that, answering that topic and just send it out to people when they ask you, that's going to help you a ton and save you a lot of time and have you stop repeating yourself constantly, plus the clients will get more reliable and consistent answers from you if you use that approach. That video is not always going to be something that people are searching for online. Now, on the flip side, if you only create those kind of videos, just going by your gut instinct of what you think people need, then you are likely not going to rank very high in the YouTube search. So in order to get ranked higher in YouTube search, you need to first start by looking at what people are searching for in the first place. So I think it's a really, it's a balancing act between sometimes I create videos and I create the content first because I know people need them and other times I am doing my keyword research ahead of time and really aiming to get that video ranked on the first five on the first page of the YouTube search and potentially even in Google so how do you do that let's talk about it part one tools needed you are going to need two keyword research tools in order to get the most out of your keyword research. The first one is Keywords Everywhere, and it's essentially free. You pay $10 for about 100,000 credits, which is going to last you a very long time. And this is just a plugin for Chrome and Firefox. So I'll link to that in the description below so that you can easily get access to that. The second tool is TubeBuddy. Now, this is a tool that is paid, but it is so very worth it if you are doing YouTube and it's a very minimal cost. But once again, it's worth it. You need it. And I happen to have an affiliate link. So if you're willing to use it, much appreciated. That is also linked in the description below. So go ahead and download those two tools and let's hop on the computer and show you how to use them. Part two, be strategic. In order to rank YouTube videos higher in search, you are going to need to consider two factors. The first is search volume. How many people are actually searching for that term? Now, when you are looking at this, which we're gonna dive into it on the computer, but essentially what that is, is the number of people that are looking for it on a week, a monthly basis. And this is where the Keywords Everywhere tool is going to come into play. And TubeBuddy also helps us out in this area as well. Now, the second one is competition. How competitive is that keyword? So there might be a ton of people searching for something, but there might also be thousands and thousands of videos that have already been created on that topic. That's going to make it really challenging for you to get discovered for that topic. So we want to find a pretty balance between the search volume and the competition of a keyword. And that's where TubeBuddy is incredible because it puts these two things together, analyzes it, and gives you a number on the scale of one to a hundred of whether or not that is a good keyword. Another thing to know before we dive into this is that there are short keywords or key keywords, main keywords, I guess, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call them, and long tail keywords where you might take a main keyword and add some extra words on the end of it in order to make it just a little bit longer so that you can increase the like or the 
or you decrease the competition for that specific long tail keyword. I know it might not make sense yet, but that's why we're about to dive into part three. But before we do, if you are finding value in this video, be sure to click like and drop a comment below letting me know. Part three, real example. So right now you are looking at my Trello board. This is how I like to organize all of the YouTube videos that I am filming or that I've filmed in the past and am uploading. And then I put all of the information that I'm going to be using in this description. So this video here, how to start an online business in 2021, is kind of a mixture of a video that I would love to be ranking for, but also one that I know that my audience needs. So I did some keyword research before I got started, but I'm going to need to fill this out fully and write the description before we can upload it. So let's walk through that process together. So what we'll do is we'll head on over to YouTube and we would just type in on online business. And then right here, you can see all of these different ideas that are already populating. So we might click on a few. So let's say online business from home. That might be relevant. All right. So that's very good. And when you click here for weighted, I am on the paid version of, um, TubeBuddy. So if you see something that's different from yours, then you can, um, you'll, you'll know why. But this weighted is going to show how the search is for my video instead of just in general, any video. So it's like my channel specifically is going to be this. So with online business from home right here, we know that the search volume, it's in the green, which means that that's really good. The competition, it's relatively high. So there's a significant amount of competition, but it does look like that's a pretty good keyword. So we're going to grab that bad boy. We're going to head on over here to the Trello board We're going to type a hundred in there and go like that. Bam, go back to here. And we can see that 4,400 people per month are searching for that. So that is really solid. And we can see right here how to start an online business in 2020. That video is actually the same title of what I'm looking to rank for. Um, so we, you can also click on this video. So I like to steal uh, tags from other videos as well. So when you do that with with TubeBuddy. This is what's awesome about TubeBuddy. So when I click on that video, I can see right here all of the tags that this video is using in order to get ranked. And whenever I click on them, then it will show, oh, let's pause that video. Then it will show how that is for mine as well. So with weighted, that is looking really good. So YouTube feels pretty confident that I could be ranked for this or TubeBuddy does. So let's type in 2021 because that is most relevant right now. So a hundred. So we'll take that over. This is actually rare to find ones that are a hundred. So, so long as you're finding ones that are, um, you'll kind of get an idea based on your topic, but I like to go 50 and above. And so they kind of vary accordingly to that. So let's see something else. So starting an online business, how to start an online business, starting a new business, they're all slight variations of the same thing. So that's 55. We could take it at least at first. All right. Now we're starting really generic at first, and then we're going to get really specific to the video that I'm creating. So this video is specifically about how to start an online course business. I start generic and then I go into the online course business. So we might want to find some that are around that as well. So let's type in how to start a, or actually let's just do the main keyword, which would be course business or potentially online course business online course business model, online course business. So you can see right here, there's 14,000 people per month searching for this. However, it's probably a really high competition because that is a very standard or a big word. So look at that, it's 28. So that's not great for me. So online course business. So let's go back, let's see how to create an online course. Online course ideas, examples, create an online course, online course marketing. So before there were some different ones. So we could even try 
digital course business. Digital marketing, digital course business. All right, so online course business has 14,000. So let's try to make this into a long tail keyword in order to increase our chance and possibly grab some of this traffic that is coming in. So online course business, how to start an online course business. All right, we're looking at very good. We got 65. So we can also see that there's 110 people searching for that per month. So we'll grab that, go over here, We'll put 65 and then sometimes I also like to put the keywords everywhere one as well. So we're starting to get several. Some of these are better than others. Uh, it's not always the case. So 100 seems really good. It also makes me a little skeptical, but you know what? We'll see at the time of releasing this video, if this other one's out, you can go see if I ranked for it. All right, online course creation tools. Let's think about what else is in this video. How to start an online course business. I cover, let's see, decision, business model, online course business model. So let's talk about that. Online course business model. Boom. Excellent. 86. All right. So we'll grab that and we can click here for the weighted as well and see what that says. 99. Look at that. Okay. Score is a is above, is specific to your channel, yeah, okay. So search volume is high, competition, it's or it's pretty good. All right, awesome, so that looks pretty good. So we'll take that and put that over there for 99. I promise I did not plan this video before I started it, that they're all like 100. Often when you are doing your keyword research, that is not the case and you're going to have to do a little bit more searching. This makes it almost seem a little bit easier, but just do the best for your video. You're going to find that some video topics do really, really well and other video topics, it seems like there's nothing that you can use. Just do your best and one of the videos eventually will get ranked. So in my experience of doing YouTube for now two and a half years, it can be a little bit confusing of what actually gets it's ranked for the algorithm and it can take a really long time for a video to actually hit the algorithm and take off. I've had videos take off after eight months of being uploaded. So I would say do what I'm showing you and then stay consistent. There are other factors that go into it as well. It's not just the tags, but this is a key part of it as well in terms of optimizing your title and your description and your tag. Part four, choose your title. In order to choose your title, you wanna choose the one with the highest score. So in this case, I'm going to go with start an online business in 2021. I looked and both how to start an online business and start an online business is the same. So I'm just gonna use start an online business. And then I also want to add something about it being specific to online courses, or actually I already say that in the thumbnail, which is another thing that we could talk about, but start an online business in 2021. So if I go over here, I looked up create an online course business. So what if we added a secondary keyword and say, create an online course business and then let's add the words from home. So we are putting several keywords in here. We have start an online business, which is a keyword here. We also have create an online course business, which we did not grab the score for, but here we go. That is excellent. So I can click for weighted, just see what these look like down here. So that looks pretty good. It's, it's blowing my mind that these are all 100. I'm, We'll see how this goes. All right, create an online course business and then online course business from home. It's really more so the online business from home, but a course online business. Create an online course business. We're just gonna, we're just gonna still keep that. So maybe we might rank for those. So that is my title. Part five, description. 
So we've got your title, we have the tags, now let's actually write the description. So what you'll do is you'll take all of the tags and you want to write a little blurb that includes as many of those tags as possible. So let me show you how this is done. So I'm just going to speed up me actually doing this process so that you don't have to watch it, but you essentially just take each one of these and you put, write a description that will include as many of them as possible. But the first couple of lines, the first two lines are the most important because when you search for something, those are the ones that you are going to see. So you want to use your key word in there, your main keyword, your target keyword, as well as enticing language to get someone to click. So in this case, I want to make sure that I'm ranking for start an online business in 2021. So we'll start with that. And I, it's always like a thinking process. So I'm now going to just do it. So here's my little blurb. We have start an online business in 2021. We have pivot to an online business from home, online business from home. Um, after and then we have create an online course business, create an online course business. Uh, let's see. Best business to start for newbies. Navigating the online course business model. So online course business model is another one. And make money online in 2021 or ways to make money online in 2021 and how to start an online course business. So there's several keywords that are in there that will hopefully increase the likelihood of this getting ranked. If at first you're frustrated by the keyword research process, just stick with it because it will get easier with time and you will get more used to it. But now that you know how to do your title, your description, and your tags, the next step is to actually upload your video to YouTube. And it's a little bit easier said than done. So I've created a video that is now on the screen that you can click through and watch the entire step-by-step -step process for how to upload your YouTube videos. I'll see you there.